Hello. Who's this? Let's not get into any names. What matters is what I can offer you. What's that? Well, if I can be assured that certain interests are protected, I might be able to help you get what you came for. I doubt that. Tell me about these interests that you're trying to protect. Why don't you let me worry about that? Now, what is it you were hoping to get out of all this? Rich, of course. Of course. But you may have bitten off more than you can chew. How? I can't discuss that on the phone. You work for the bank? No. And you're not a cop? That's right. Come on in. You got 10 minutes, no more. If you're not out before the lights come back on, you can stay inside until this thing is over. You don't need to threaten me. It's not a threat, lady, but this is. I know this game is a mile over my head, but I'm telling you, if you fuck I me, got where I am by collecting friends, not enemies. Trust me, okay? You're on your own. What makes you think I need help? Well, the hundred people outside, for starters. It's not a problem. And they're fueling your jet right now, as we speak. <laughs> Come on, you're not that stupid. Here's what I'm thinking. If you give up now, I can ensure that you'll serve the minimum. I'm thinking three years, four years at the most. You can arrange that. Well, you haven't hurt anyone or stolen anything, so... Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. It's not good enough. Well, I wasn't finished. When you get out, you'll have two million dollars. Will I? How? We'll put it someplace safe, and it'll be waiting for you when you get out. Thanks. But no thanks. Oh, come on. I made you such a sweet offer. I really don't think you have much in the way of alternatives. Why don't you talk to me about these interests that you're in here to protect? I'm afraid I can't. I can. Let me tell you a story. During World War II, there was an American working for a bank in Switzerland. Now, I don't need to tell you that this period in history was rife with opportunity for people of low morals. People like this man. He used his position with the Nazis to enrich himself while all around him people were being stripped of everything they owned. Then he used his blood money to start a bank. Now, does this sound like it might be the man you work for? Or am I just whistling Dixie out of my ass? I believe we understand each other. Good. So what the hell can you do for me since I clearly know more than you do and I've planned this to perfection? Believe me, if I need to, I can change your entire program. So the sooner that you stop being my problem and you start becoming my solution, the better off you'll be. What is it you want? Two minutes. The safety deposit box room. I just need to go to one box. Looking for this? This could be very embarrassing to your employer. He should have destroyed this a long time ago. He didn't, so now it's mine. Now, if the day ever comes where I have to stand before a judge and account for what I did here, you and your boss will do whatever it takes to help me. You get out of here with that envelope, and we'll pay you a lot of money. I'll keep that in mind. You're not going to tell me how you're planning to get out of here, are you? I'm going to walk right out the front door. Anything else? How did you know about all this? Doesn't matter. Fact is, all lies, all evil deeds, they stink. You can cover them up for a while, but they don't go away. Murder will out? Precisely. Well, I still don't get what you're doing here. Really? Good. So we spoke. Oh, no, you're gonna have to give me more than that. Let me have this window, fellas. Yes, sir. I told him that, um, well, since he hadn't killed anyone, it wasn't too late to surrender and get off with a lighter sentence. And? And that was basically it. <laughs> you know, I don't ordinarily get offended the first time somebody treats me like an idiot, but you are pushing it. Now, I know you did not go in there to tell this guy something he already knew. Talk to me. 
Look, Detective, our arrangement doesn't include me giving you a detailed explanation. I say it does, okay? Okay, you don't own me. This check cashing thing, this, this coke bust, I can face that on my own. I know what I did and what I didn't do. Talk to me. Off the record? Off the record. Everything about you is off the record. Just talk to me. I like giving him an incentive. Okay. Did he go for it? No, but I'd say he's considering it. He's smart, isn't he? He thinks he is. Yeah. One of your types, like Ivy League type? Clearly well-educated. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You talk like him, so think like him. What do you think he's going to do? Well, he's not going to kill anyone. How do you know? Because he's not a murderer. How do you know? I got news for you. Most of the guys up in Sing Sing weren't murderers until they killed somebody. You never know what a person will do until you push him into a corner. But it doesn't seem like you've pushed him into a corner. It doesn't, does it? Seems more like he chose the corner. You're right. So, you through? I guess. You're saying I'm dismissed? Yes, I am. You got a card in case I need to call you? Oh, please don't take this personally, but uh, no. I don't think you can afford me. Well, don't take this personally, Miss White. Kiss my black ass, okay? Careful, Detective Frazier. My bite's much worse than my bark.